Hi guys, it's Scott at the Injector Shop. In this video, I'm going to show you how we test the VDO Piezo GDI fuel injectors out of a BMW N54 engine. So let's get going. The first thing to do in the testing process is to select the test plan, and that's done by entering the injector number. Now I can enter customer information and the serial number of the injector. For the VDO Index 12s on the BMWs, I enter the injector coding number. The testing process is lengthy and honestly can be boring to just sit and watch, so I have sped up the replay. The first test performed is an electrical test where the injector capacitance is tested. Next test is a high pressure nozzle leak down. N54 injectors are tested at 205 bar or just under 3000 psi for the leak down test. Now the volume tests are performed and at each test the injector is brought to operating condition. It's stabilized then the volume test is measured. Test progression is automatic at this point. At any point in any volume test, I can switch views and view a live oscilloscope and watch injector electrical operation. Volume tests in the N54 test plan are consist of five plans. The first at 205 bar at 950 microsecond. The second at 160 bar at 800 microsecond. The third at 65 bar or 650 microseconds, the fourth at 180 bar and 240 microseconds, and the last volume test is performed at 150 bar, 450 microseconds. Now I'll turn off the audio and let you listen to the sweet sounds of GDI operation. Test is now complete and it's time to produce the digital test reports. Our GDI test equipment has the capability of performing piezo stack regeneration. Stack regeneration in the N54 piezo injectors is highly recommended to return the injector stack back to OEM operating conditions. Hey guys, welcome back, and we've got a test uh, in the books for the N54 BMW injector, and in this particular case, this injector worked flawlessly. Um, I'd like to take a minute to talk about what you saw for testing, and what makes our test processes different for the GDI injectors versus the port fuel systems that we uh, test as well. Um, as you, <coughs> excuse me, as you saw in the beginning of the video. We enter in the injector part number because that's what brings up our test plan and the test plans are unique to the part number of the injector and are authored at the manufacturing level. 
Um, each injector is tested against that plan. Uh, the plans typically consist of a coil test, um, a nozzle leak down test, and anywhere between three and five different volume tests are performed, again, depending on the injector part number and the test parameters that we're going after. Um, test results are brought back very easy to read color coded, which are furnished to every one of my customers. Uh, the red color means obviously test fail, didn't meet the parameters. Uh, green color uh, means the injector performed at tolerance or within tolerance. And a blue test result means a near perfect uh, test result. Um, flow, fluid flow is measured on a shot to shot basis at cubic centimeters per shot. Um, they're not measured like the old port systems where we put them in the flow tubes and we pulse them and we measure what the fluid flow is in, in milliliters, uh, converting that to pounds per hour. Um, not at all. I mean, the, the flow instrumentation inside this machine is probably worth the same amount of money as a standard flow bench is for a port injector. It's very sophisticated equipment, um, it, it, a very precise measurement, uh, which allows us to be able to compare back to the manufacturing tolerance and give that information back to our customer whether their injectors are working or not. Um, so again, uh, thanks for sticking around. If you've got any questions, uh, reach out to me. Um, if you like what you saw, bang that like button, hit the subscribe. I'm going to give you some links down below into the store, into the services that we perform for GDI, and I appreciate your time. Have a great day.